everybody. We are here at Whale Beach in Wardrick Wells. Uh, we woke up this morning, had a cup of coffee, and decided to go hike up Boo Boo Hill uh, to kind of hang our signs for the day and uh, to get the morning started. We've got two signs. We've got the Low Tide Yacht Club sign, and then we've got a motor boater sign. So we're gonna go put these both. Uh, it's about a mile hike up to the hill, and uh, it's going to be a good morning. What do you it's, think? A, it's a beautiful morning out yeah. here. Boo Boo Hill is a really famous place where a lot of sailors and uh, cruisers here in the Bahamas go to. They always mark it with these kind of signs. So before we left West Palm Beach, we had a couple of signs made. We've been hanging them all over the, the Exumas in different bars and places. But uh, this is really the, the famous place to yeah. go to. It's This is uh, Whale Beach. and. Uh, at the end of the video we'll show you why it's whale beach but they call this whale beach we've got uh the liquid limo uh, over there in the water uh waiting for us to get back so kind of a cool spot yeah boo boo hill apparently a uh, long long time ago there was a schooner that uh sank right off of uh wardrick wells over here and everybody on board died uh and it's kind of a legend that uh on a full moon which is actually tonight tonight, tonight, tonight. Uh, on full moons, if you hike up to the top of it, you can hear uh, the souls singing uh, in the winds and stuff like that. So and tonight is going to be windy, but, <laughs> but we're not hiking tonight. We're not hiking up there tonight. I don't. I don't need to hear souls singing. But <laughs> so it's just one of those legends, and uh, everybody marks a spot and uh, kind of gives tribute to the area and uh, Did, for the souls that died up there by leaving their signs. Didn't everything. I hear that their remains are still there? That that they found actual human bones there. You know, I think I, I, I think I had heard that someplace, but I don't know. To be verified later. <laughs> all right, okay. all right. Let's start up the trail. Oh. It looks well marked now, but <laughs> I guarantee you it won't stay that way. Isn't it kind of weird wearing shoes? <laughs> I'm glad we threw these things in the boat. <laughs> we haven't worn shoes since uh, Yellowstone in February. <laughs> it's funny because when we went home to get stuff for Yellowstone for that day, I actually brought my shoes because I didn't have them on the boat. Right. <laughs> Alright, we're coming up on another sign. We got Boo Boo Hill one direction, some blowholes in another direction, and kind of a nice spot up here. That's the open ocean out into the Atlantic, and that is Wardrick Wells out over here. And you see the dark blue mark? That's the channel and the only place that you can really grab a mooring ball. The rest of it is all um, sandbars. So you have to be very careful coming through this area. All right, we've made it to Boo Boo Hill. And you can see this looks like a pile of trash to a lot of people, but to us, this is sacred ground. We've got oh, all these people that have left signs here are uh, previous sailors that have come through here or cruisers from boats that that mark where they're at with with signs like this. So very cool spot. One of the places we didn't want to miss while we were going through the Exumas. A lot of stories and a lot of uh, a lot of old salty sea dogs have done this. So look at this bench over here. Somebody has brought a bench up here, a memorial bench. Teacher, cruiser, and friend. 
Pat Thorpe. There's a great place for him to sit and look out over his bay, which is out there. Stunningly beautiful area, which I say a lot in these videos, but it's, it holds true. Up here, you can really see the blue channel coming through Wardrick Wells. And, uh, and the only place you can really navigate uh, your boats through on either side of it. If you look out on this side, this is actually the south side. You can see how light the water is out there. That's all sandbars. So you have to be extremely careful navigating through here. Uh, you gotta put a lot of trust in your equipment uh, as you go through it because sometimes things look uh, better than they are. And if you're not careful, you can end up on a sandbar. So very, very cool area. What do you think? Yeah. I love the, the height. You can really see water walls. Yeah. Well. And all of the, uh, oh, there's some conch shells right there, too, where people have painted conch shells. Yeah, I mean, you kind of have whatever you have. They'll have buoys that they have that they want to get rid of or conch shells. Anything to put their boat name on uh, to leave kind of here. Yeah. Somebody's got a pair of diving fins over there that has like a whole little story written on it. Um, it's pretty cool. Yeah, very cool area. We're gonna go ahead and we're gonna we're gonna mount our signs and then we'll we'll come back and show you where we put them. All right, Brandy and I are on the top of Boo Boo Hill, and uh, uh, it's actually really beautiful up here. There's the the ocean. I think we we did this in yeah, a previous shot. So. Um, and of course, Boo Boo Hill, we finished putting our signs up. They're right up there at the top. The Low Tide Yacht Club is uh, our yacht club back in California that actually Brandy and I helped found. And, uh, and then the sign below it is our motor boater sign. So uh, we found a really good spot. There's all these signs and stuff out here. And, uh, and we found one spot up there at the top where that was open. So, uh, so we were actually able to get up there and grab it with our uh, screw gun very fortunate shot huh yeah so now we're gonna try to get some drone footage one thing I did want to show you is the Sun is really come out now and the tide is up so you could get a good idea oh, almost fell here you can get a good idea of what Wardrick Wells looks like uh, with the channel through it uh, from up here very cool shot I'm gonna try to get some drone footage of this and uh, see if it if it turns out it's a little breezy up here and sometimes my little light drone doesn't like that So but we'll give it a shot and then I think we might go down here. There's some blowholes. The ocean isn't very Angry today, so the blowholes might not be going off very well, but we might walk over there anyways uh, Since we're here so cool All right, we left boo-boo hill and now we are uh, at some blowholes, but unfortunately Mother Nature is being very kind today at the blowholes and we can't get the full effect of them. But here's, you can kind of see, those are holes there. You can see all the way down into them. There's another one, a couple more back here. Not quite but rough enough out there. yeah, the, the ocean's just not rough enough to create a big, a big blow here there's a couple more some days when when uh brandy and i are out at sea and we're on the atlantic side and the seas are a little rougher we can see them from the shore just shooting up all up and down the shores uh so they're, they're just all over the exuma islands but it's a beautiful day oh there's a nice big hole right down there kind of see underneath the oh, yeah. there's a whole beach underneath that cliff right there so that ledge right there is all exposed underneath and it, the water just comes up under it it's been eroded out over the over the centuries so we're gonna walk out over here on this point and see if we can take a look at the inside of it without killing myself. This is all coral 
up here so it's super sharp and can be hard to manage sometimes what a spot wow walk out a little further like something out of a movie this is a beautiful area this is worth a hike up here today isn't it oh, yeah. look at the way that it's curved down there where the water comes in and funnels under very nice spot. Boy, I wish the blowhole was going off today, but it's just, it isn't, so we're just going to have to enjoy the nice day. Okay, so like we told you at the beginning of the video, uh, back here at Whale Beach, and uh, this is the reason they call this uh, Whale Beach. There is a giant sperm whale uh, here. 52 feet long, yeah. Uh, it's the upper half of the jaw here, 52 feet long. It was found July 1995. So he's been out here for a while. And I think this is the whale that they were saying died because of the plastic that was in its intestinal systems, right? Yeah. Yeah. So there's a whole sign here that describes uh what happened but consuming plastic killed this magnificent 52 feet sperm whale uh so kind of unfortunate here's his spinal cord right here in the back so they were able to put him back together for the most part uh out here on uh on whale beach which is a beautiful beach in the exumas you can kind of see a lot of people are taking off here to go up to boo boo hill and enjoy the rest of the day so just getting started out here in wardrick wells this morning so that was our little hike this morning we uh we'll have another video out soon